Honda's four auto assembly plants in China have ground to a halt after workers at Guangdong Province's Foshan production base went on strike, demanding better pay. Both employees and interns have worked out. Zhao Xiaotian has the details. Nearly 200 workers gathered in front of the gate, demanding a pay rise. The strike at the parts maker, which employs 1,900 people, including 1,000 interns, began last week and has continued on and off into this week. Interns say their salary and bonus amounts to no more than 1,500 yuan a month, but they have to pay for their keep, including electricity and water bills. So they have barely anything left afterwards. We have to work extra shifts to cover our living expenses. I've worked here for two years, but if I quit now, I can't even afford a train ticket to get home. Workers say they have requested pay rises a few times, but the factory just keeps ignoring them. Bosses have even threatened to fire interns if they strike. But lawyers say it's a tough case for the interns because they're not formal employees of the company, so they're not protected by labor laws. We can't simply say having so many interns in one cooperation is an action that violates the labor legislation. We have to consider other factors such as the deal the factory signed with the schools where the students come from and how the interns are treated there. Honda says talks are underway, but it's still unclear when production can resume. Zhao Xiaotian, ICS News.